Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to let you know that if you are running an Intel-based system with a more recent Intel wireless network card, that Intel has released its latest Wi-Fi driver. And for this month, the version is 23.110.0, which is now the latest stable version. Now, I'll leave the download page uh, linked in the description because here's the download link and this is rolling out for both uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11 and the improvements that are listed for this latest driver are apparently on certain systems SQL data retrieval might slow down that's been fixed there's improvements for mobile hotspots on 5 gigahertz there's Wi-Fi 6e or Wi-Fi 7 regulatory updates and then the update also includes functional and security updates and intel also says there may be other minor issues addressed that will impact performance stability or vendor specific functionality that hasn't been listed and they encourage you to update to the latest version for the best performance now if we just scroll down to the bottom of this page which as mentioned will be linked here are the different products that the download is available for and although Intel has encouraged you to update to the latest version for best performance, as I have always said on the channel, only update your drivers if you are experiencing issues or they bring something new to the table that is going to be a big enhancement because a lot of issues that are caused on Windows 10 and Windows 11 are actually caused by drivers, especially the latest and greatest drivers. So... Only update if you have experienced issues or obviously there's a big enhancement with the driver um, that will enhance your system to some degree or the other. But if you want my personal opinion, I would suggest just leaving any driver update alone because drivers can cause issues, especially um, if you are experiencing no problems with your device. So that's the latest Wi-Fi driver, 23.110.0 which has rolled out recently for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.